uh, what is Azure Data Engineering and what is the data engineering and the very basic uh, fundamental question that you if you have it so we, we can cover that today and we can uh, take it into the further so before uh, starting this one let's jump into the questions that you have it probably today's for our agenda so first thing is uh, what is a uh, data engineering uh, second one is who can learn the data engineering and what is a cloud computing and why should we learn the azure data engineering okay and uh, how to become a cloud engineer and what are the tools or the technologies that needs to have a azure data engineer and uh, what are the tools that we covered tools are the technology that we are going to cover as part of this course and which type of the projects uh, basically are involved to this so what is azure what is a data engineering so you can uh, i'll just take in one example and i can try to address you what is a data engineering so first you can see uh, an e-commerce platform that is a very quite common that uh, everybody would know it right so uh, i'll just take out the uh, simple amazon or a uh, okay any, any shopping site that you can take it out okay so and if you can see the shopping site right so where let me show with some take you to some portal or anything and if you just see uh i haven't you know i haven't logged in okay uh, but still it, it is just showing the random uh, things for me okay so when you search for any kind of a product okay uh, let's i'll search for some uh, laptop bag or something okay let's search for, search for thing just see it just given the list of the bags okay so i'll just randomly select some of the bag And if you can see it here, right? So here uh, it is giving the multiple options for us. Okay, that you can observe. Like if you can go uh, the combo that it is giving, and it just giving the related products and the similar products which are with the uh, you know different prices in the same range. Okay, and and if you can see lot of options it is uh, giving, uh, like you know by comparing the different products okay similar products compared with the similar products because i haven't asked all these things but it is just showing uh, it is trying to recommend you uh, based on some criteria okay see uh, just trying to compare the things and then giving the lot of details about the products okay and mostly the compares the brands and the combo options and then reviews and all those things okay so if you can see this one right so you you can ha you, you need to understand like how it is giving that information uh, this is just about uh, i haven't given any login uh, information but if we can log into my account it's just giving the more related the products which i'm searching it right so if you uh, if you log into your account and if you search it with the laptop bag or something uh, and and it will it will try to show you the same options to you okay the means uh, the options are the most popular uh, brands like it, it is try to recommend you with some most sellable products and most usable products okay so this kind of a use cases means uh, this kind of a uh, things that can help to improve the business obviously right so this can help to improve the sales of any of the products right so what is this data engineering will do all these things why i'm telling these stories and showing all these things because to generate this kind of insights okay amazon it's a like a, a shopping sites okay uh, i can shopping sites if you can go the na shopping sites it can show you the recommendations okay it can give you some sort of a recommendations to you to choose the right product for you uh, for your needs with the you know with the different options like you wanted the uh, you wanted the same product in a very less price or you wanted to look for some particular brand so all these things it will try to recommend you uh, based on your uh, search criteria at the same time it can give you the combo options like you know if you are trying to uh, you are trying to buy only the laptop so in that case it will try to recommend you to uh, buy even with the mouse or keyboard or laptop bag or pen drive or something whichever can have a, a lesser price right so with the combo you can get 
all the products with the lesser uh, price so that options it is giving and more about the analytics are the you know uh, analytics in even the reviews as well like it will try to give you the best products based on the reviews pre uh, ordered by the previous guys and if you can observe right so in the flip card right usually you can see uh, what is the number of the users that had the same product in previous uh, you know previous 10 days or a previous hours so that analytics information that it can give you so that it can help you to see uh, whether this is the right product that you can go for or you can uh, re rethink again okay so it can give you previously ordered status so you know why how it is giving all this information for us right so what do you can think of a backend uh, like how it is giving all those things right you might think that uh, this might be uh, generating based on some you know uh, artificial intelligence or something else right so you might be thinking uh, like you know it's based on some ai or uh, some you know some machine learning kind of a models Yes, you are right. Uh, this will be happen with the help of AI and machine learning models. But in order to work on this, uh, in order to work of this AI and machine learning models, it has some data. Means it has a data that is related to your past data. Means the previous orders, previous customers, previous products, uh, most sellable products. So all this kind of information uh, that they have it, this machine learning or AI teams, so that they can take out their data and they can try to do some sort of uh, uh, recommendations based on your searching criteria your uh, you know uh, what you are looking at based on it they can uh, they can try to suggest you the right product for you so this is all has happening with the data one second okay so in order to work on this data right so they need a data so how this data is getting generated how this data is getting uh, handed to the a is nothing but the responsibility of the data engineers data engineers okay so data engineers or a data engineering profile is a one which can take the data from the application teams okay i don't know why it is giving Yeah, just take out the data from application team and then loading data and application data team and hand over to AIRB, AIR machine learning teams. Then you can think through the next question is something that is it simply like we are taking out the data from one team and then we are taking we are delivering the data to other team it's no definitely not it involves a lot of cleaning a lot of cleaning data cleaning okay so don't think that this is the friend a lot of data cleaning activities and data standardization data quality okay data governance data quality and data standardization data standards and we do can follow a, a different techniques to do uh, you know uh, in between the data movement to one one to other and also we can uh, focus on data transmissions data transformations and many many more things that we can do uh, in between because uh, in order to work off this uh, AI and machine learning models right so they have very clean and then very uh, very quality data that they wanted in order to run that models and uh, the things okay and not only for this one uh, there are different use cases of there with the data engineering so data engineering is the very first step that you need to take care if you wanted to utilize your data 
using that you can improve your business okay it's a very first step i can say very first step very first step in data space or data science space means one should have a thorough understanding and uh, thorough understanding about the data engineering data engineers are the guys they can take out the data from the application team and then they can do some sort of a cleaning standardization transformation process and then they can uh, load the data into some particular kind of a space is nothing but a data warehouse or data lake okay so step in the data science field if you wanted to enter into the data science or you wanted to do uh, some sort of a machine learning model or a data science data scientist profile so the very first step is data engineering so you need to start your journey with the data engineering then only you'll get you, you have to understand uh, and then you can groom your profile in such a way that which path you can take there are many profiles that depends on the data engineering okay so this is a kind of a entry way once you can take out this one you can easily switch to other roles i can uh, show you all that roles in upcoming uh, uh, slides i can uh, try to demonstrate those things in the other slides okay not an issue next we can see th that is about the data engineering guys okay next